Hey guys doing today, it is me Can Amico aka Ocean Crash and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to take the next step in your life and how to be a little bit more social, how to convert yourself from an introvert to an extrovert. I would like to identify myself as an extrovert, but I wasn't always an extrovert. I was an introvert. That ended up changing uh, shortly as I entered high school, high school, and it made me become a man completely different than whom I wanted to be. And um, this isn't specific to being a man. You can be a woman and also convert yourself, change sides, and you know, uh, join join the dark side of extroverts. But there's a lot of ways and a lot of benefits, in my honest opinion, of being an extrovert. It does have its cons as well, which I'll cover in another video. Uh, pros and cons of being an introvert and an extrovert. But, you know, I like to really relate a lot of my things back to the business industry. And just kind of take that as like with the, with the grain of socializing and kind of uh, living out your life as an introvert or an extrovert. But a lot of people I know whom I talk to, they say, hey, man. This is just who I am. This is the type of person I am. It's hard for me to communicate. It's hard for me to change the type of person I am. How do I change? For me, the type of extrovert I was, when I was in junior high, I used to always play video games, always on the computer. Just it was always like, I would invite my friends over and I'd be in the in the office just like playing games as I invited my friends over and they're sitting in the living room with my brother playing FIFA or something and I'm just over there and my computer just like gaming away, you know? And to me, that was an introvert, you know? I, I never, I seldomly socialized with people. Um, I had lacks of self-esteem. And I just didn't like to talk. I was just always, I felt like I was a loser and I didn't need to communicate with people. And um, you can say that my self-esteem, lack of self-esteem rather, had to do with me being introverted. Um, I, to me, they went hand in hand. And to a lot of people, um, their extrovert and introvert type of personalities carry some baggage. So you could say with people who are mainly introverts, um, they tend to be more um, hard on themselves, more perfectionists, um, more constantly thinking that they don't look good, uh, they're not performing well, it's their fault, more introvert characteristics, um, mainly because they are habits on allowing you to recluse back to your introvert instincts. So these are my three tips, three tips on how to be an extrovert. Get out of that introvert shell. Um, but my first step was trying to focus on my self-health and just making me feel good. Um, and a lot of that for me was surrounded around my weight. So I focused on myself first. You can't get anywhere in life unless you focus on yourself. You are number one priority no matter what anyone tells you. Um, so for me, that was losing weight and learning to voice my opinion more in a non-aggressive manner. Um, so I really tried my best around my family, around my friends to not feel like I was being a bad person by voicing my opinion and um, that worked really well for me and I, and I read some books um, on, 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 you know, working on my growth and I, I read, did a lot of YouTube videos, I did a lot of research, hence my YouTube video here to try to give back on the cause. <laughs> um, so that was my first step um, in kind of becoming extrovert was voicing my opinion, working on what, tackling what mattered the most to me as an introvert that kind of caused me to be an introvert um and I, I took care of it in that that was my first step in kind of breaking that introvert brick which to me um i knew wasn't the right personality trait i knew i want wasn't inherently an introvert it had a lot to do behind it so um i, I had a lot of baggage behind that so i did that i kind of i worked on my my self-health my my self health yeah self-health <laughs> sounds weird when i say it fast um worked on losing my weight uh worked on boosting my self-esteem i didn't feel like i was a loser and all that stuff I, I felt like i felt good about myself and i've mentioned it in my previous videos um till this day actually one of the lasting effects of my introvert kind of self-esteem issue is um when i run i have a habit of looking down just because um I always felt like before when I was fatter, 
that people would stare at me because I'm fat and I'm running. So uh, it's lack of self-esteem and I've been working on that even till this day as I lost so much weight, developed muscle, grown as a human being, developed and become more of an extroverted individual. I still have certain habits that haven't gone away. That is my first step I recommend to you guys. Find ways to voice your opinion. Uh, my second one would be after you kind of bridge off of that, um, join more organizations or associations or just be around people um, not on the computer but in person you want that face-to-face -face interaction um, that have the same passion as you you love playing games that's fine go to a lounge where people play games um, you love crocheting that's fine go to crochet meeting you know um, you love uh, business that's fine join a business organization um, for me I um, as I was going through junior high, I tend to. I told myself that I never want to work for anyone in my life. Never. I'm like, I told myself, I set my foot down. I was like, you know what? Seeing how my dad works, seeing how my brother works, just seeing how the whole entire world revolves around working a nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, and then retiring at a young age and not being able to live your life. I told myself, I don't want to work for anyone. I want to be my own boss. I want to open up my own business. I learned from my uncle as well, who was a huge entrepreneur and still is. Uh, he was able to step down at the uh, late age of 40, early age of 50 as a multimillionaire, um, you know, and he's just raking in five figures every month, not doing anything, um, retired. So that was huge motivation for me. So I joined a business organization for me, um, which was called DECA. Um, and to me, business was a growing passion of mine. Um, I wanted to learn more about it, how to communicate, how to speak, because I knew I had that self-esteem in me. Um, I just didn't know how to let people know about it, you know, and it, it came into huge play, especially uh, when talking about job interviews. I mean, that was so huge for me, knowing how to sell yourself in a job interview. I think that's beneficial for most people. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like the next step for me in terms of trying to step out from being an introvert to an extrovert. And honestly, it worked wonders because like till this day, I join organizations and I try to join organizations because networking, um, I've mentioned multiple times in my videos, networking is a huge portion of how to be a successful individual in this day and age. You need a network. I, till this day, I work from home and the some of the best clients the best clients i've ever had i've gotten from networking and i mean i'll, I'll go to these organizations I'll go to these events and i'll meet these people and phenomenal they love me i work with them and i have the best experiences ever so yeah network join social organizations to talk develop that those skills those traits you need in job interviews um just talk it doesn't have to be professional um, if, like I said, if you love gaming, go join a go to gaming circles, go to whatever it is, but make sure it's face to face. Don't feel like you need to stay at home. Don't feel cramped in your office. No more voice chatting. Do it all in person. That's my second second step on how to tackle it, um, how to become an extrovert. Your third and final step is take that passion and make it professional. Um, so like I mentioned, for me, it just so happened to be um, that my my passion business which was honestly a fun passion it was something i enjoyed to do um that became my professional passion as well i took it seriously i ran for state level you know leadership i stood in front of a crowd of a lot of people hundreds of people that was something i, I that was a huge step for me to be able to stand in front of so many people and give a speech i've never done that before and it was a groundbreaking thing for me and i was like wow I mean, I was scared. I was scared as all hell. But I mean, for me to break that ice, those steps allowed me to get along the way. Constantly working on my health, constantly working on my passions and trying to be more social, surrounding myself, trying to find ways to communicate with people. But then that professionalism of that business, it just took it to a whole nother world. And I was just like, geez, I've become someone whom I've always wished I could be. Uh, you know, and that business organization, that that presentation, you know, DECA allowed me to kind of um, grow as a human being. And in case you guys don't know, DECA uh, is a business organization that primarily works for high schoolers. There's some college levels. 
Um, I, I formed a college chapter at Northern Illinois University. Um, I hope it's still around there. <laughs> um, but um, they work really well in high school and they teach you how to interview. They teach you how to sell business plans, create business plans. They teach you a lot of really great business characteristics, selling, hotel and uh, hospitality and tourism, just like all of these sections and chapters. And I've met some pretty great people through these organizations just by talking. And they promote on the power of networking a lot, and it's insane. So I highly recommend you guys to take that step of once you have your passion, join the professional level of your passion. You love games? Try to join, a, go to a business convention for games. Join, you know, take it next, take it to the next step. Um, find out the business behind it. How do you make money as gaming? Okay, is it microtransactions? Okay, well, how does the, what's the business model behind it? Go to conventions. Go to you know join the panels. You know go listen to some of the panels where they talk about these nitty gritty things, and then stay afterwards and socialize with the with the panel speakers. Just find ways to immerse yourself in networking, guys. It's so powerful, um, not just as a life skill as a business owner, but it's just good as a human trait. I highly recommend it. Guys, these are my three steps on how to be an extrovert if you're an introvert. It worked for me, uh, it may not work for you. There may be another step, you may not be comfortable, but finding ways to kind of step inch and inch and inch and inch yourself out into the world where you're not stuck and basically not voicing your opinion, you need to voice your opinion, and that's a huge step of being an extrovert. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Till later, till next time. I love you. Bye. Peace.